All right, welcome back to LearnWire. I figured I'd give you a quick update on the Keto Crush Pinterest website case study. So we are taking off and we are getting results. It's kind of one of those things where we know that this is a niche that's popular on Pinterest, but at the same time, you have to take into account that this is going to be a very competitive niche as well. So there could be reasons why we aren't getting traffic, or if we are getting a lot of traffic, then we can say it's because of the niche selection. But at the same time, like I said, if we are getting less traffic, it also could be because of the competition. But overall, I'm really happy with the results so far. Mm -hmm. We've been going with this project for about six weeks now. We've written a lot of blog posts on the website over here. I'm going to show you when we come over here to the blog section, you'll see that we have a lot of content that we've created. This was all created in Koala Writer my top AI writer of choice. We got a lot of our keywords and everything was from pin clicks. So this is this website over here. That is a tool that gives you does keyword research for keyword research for Pinterest. Super, super cool. You can go and check the pricing. I'll leave links to everything below. There is a $29 a month plan and a $49 a month plan. You can track keywords. It's basically an, an all inclusive SEO keyword research, rank tracking software for Pinterest. Okay. So what have we got going on over here? We have Keto Crush. We are hitting the 5.5 thousand monthly views right now. Now remember, we're not going as aggressive as some people out there teaching us stuff. They're doing about a hundred. So you can scroll down and see uh, one of these tricks, guys. You can go over to your saved once you're logged in and you can actually see we have 863 pins. But like I was saying, some people are teaching you to do 100 or more pins per account per day. And I just think that's a, a good formula to get banned on Pinterest, whether they're saying that it's safe and that they don't get banned or not. That's totally fine. It's just up to you if you want. But I'm looking at the long run, creating quality pins. I have my virtual assistant working on these pins. We can come in here and just look uh, like keto desserts, for example. We'll come into this uh, board that we've created. You can see we have a lot of A ones. These are all created with Ideogram. I believe it's this Ideogram is what I'll start calling it. And we've done a lot of AI images. They look really good. They look like they're real images, right? So super cool. Kind of went to town on this right here. But then as we scroll further down, you'll see we have branded. These were all custom created in Canva. And so we also add those in as well. So we have some, so it's the page is looking really good. We either have... AI images created in Ideogram, or we have really good pins, custom pins that are created that are on brand point with the color and everything. And these are created in Canva. And sometimes it's a combination of both. We're usually using maybe the Canva AI image generator in there, or just pulling up items in there and pulling them uh, inside of the Canva, or we're creating them in Ideogram and then bringing them into Canva to put them on a nice a banner, okay, or a nice pin. So keto desserts, we're kind of exploring, we're kind of going into that one really heavily, but you can see all these other boards over here. And when you click in them, like keto lifestyle, you can see all these pins over here. A lot of them created in, in Canva. It's looking uh, like a uh, pretty high quality. And you can see that these are getting the ones that have been there for a while, they're getting views, right? See, you can see almost every one of these getting views getting shares and getting traffic. If you're interested in, well, is this actually sending traffic to our website? I can come over here and show you. I'll go into analytics review or overview. In the last 30 days, we have 10,000 impressions. So this part over here is actually not updated. When we go and look at the Pinterest where it says 5.5 thousand, that's actually not updated. We're actually at 10,000 impressions right now. We've got 139 outbound clicks. So 139 people traffic. And I can tell you right now, guys, this is more traffic in six weeks, organic, real traffic going over to any website I've ever built. This is faster traffic than I've ever seen on any website. I've never been able to build a niche website and in within six weeks get 109 real clicks. So that is really cool. And then you come down here, we have saves going on. We have a total audience right here. We have engaged audience. So we're really doing good over here. I think it's looking really good. Here's the impressions. You can see it's going to start skyrocketing over here. And it gives you kind of an estimation on kind of what the trajectory is of where you're heading. And we are just skyrocketing up there. So that's on impressions. That's the last thir uh, 30 days. We can go the last nine, the last seven days. Look, we're up 443% on impressions. So it is a snowball effect, you guys. You really start snowballing with this kind of method on Pinterest. We have our engagements are up 575%. Outbound clicks are up 520%. In the last seven days, we have 109 clicks. One of our pins took off and got a ton of clicks. 
We have saves. We have total audience is up 2,238% and engaged audience is up 900%. So are these the kind of numbers that you want to see? Absolutely. There is, this is, might be the new way to build websites, guys. I could, uh, what's so cool is that I could care less what Google thinks anymore. I'm not going to build sites like that anymore. I'm not going to build sites relying on Google and doing everything white hat and doing everything perfect. And then they come out and just decide that they're going to do a Google algorithm update, right? And manipulate their own algorithm. And then th th tens of thousands of websites and all the money that they make just fall overnight. I don't like that. So we're going to be doing different things to where we don't have to stress all the time about the traffic that we're getting. Now, I know that there's other people out there in case studies of people that are able to go out there and get 10, 20, 30,000 uh, clicks per month from Pinterest. That's enough to go out and get ads on your website and start actually making money on a website just from Pinterest traffic. So that's kind of what we're trying to achieve so far. This is looking pretty good. I'm going to go over here and just look at the last 90 days because we've been doing this for about six weeks. So it'll give you the full picture. We started mid October and you can see, look at that graph right there. That is just nuts right there. That'll probably be a picture that I'll take for the, the thumbnail of this video because that it just looks so cool having a massive hockey stick growth right there. I've never seen stuff like that before. We'll come over here and you can look at impressions. We're getting 3,500 impressions on this keto biscuits right over here. And we come over here and look at pin clicks. We, we have the keto biscuits, 88 pin clicks. And then we can go over here. Finally, what you're really excited about to see is the outbound clicks. This keto biscuits right here as well. We had 53 people left that pin. I can show you the pin right now. I'll just open it up and you can see the pin. It's nothing special. We created this with AI ideogram and we basically, it's a very simple image. There's nothing special about it, but it, it creates very nice images. And this one got a lot of engagement and people going from this pin and going over to our website. And that's what that means. That's what these 53 clicks mean. That means that people are clicking on the image over here. They're clicking on this image and then it's sending them over to the website right over here to keto biscuits, delicious, low carb treats for any meal. And then we have this lovely blog article that they can now go and read and check out all of that. So super cool. That's kind of how it works. That's really the model. I mean, you're doing similar things that you do for Google. You're just relying on Pinterest and it's actually kind of fun. You get to create pins and there's a visual aspect to this. And there's just another element of, of kind of fun with this, just knowing that you're not relying on paying thousands of dollars for backlinks every month and SEO and all that stuff. It's just, there's just a, a kind of calm and relief about doing a method like this and not relying on Google. I don't know about you, but you can see all the pins that are getting clicks. Look at the 16 people. All This is all the traffic. This represents the traffic that's coming over to the website. So I couldn't be more happy. We're approaching a thousand pins on the the account and what we can do now is actually go over and look at the how we are scheduling this so i'm using publer i'm going to be doing a full a review of Publer, but I'm really using this just for the scheduling capabilities. Now, I know I have other tools like Follower and uh, Marky and a bunch of other tools that I bought on AppSumo that can technically create pins and schedule them and all that, but I'm uh, outsourcing this. And so it makes more sense to have my virtual assistant just working on this project full time. And so I don't have to really worry about having to spend hours because even using automation, guys, you guys have to keep this in mind. There's no software out there, even with the most brilliant software software like follower, which um, creates really good AI images, and then has a, a built in schedule auto scheduler and all that, it still takes time, it would still take probably an entire day of my time, at least eight hours in order to go out and schedule and actually to schedule 25 pins. So if I take out a calculator, 25 times 30, this is how many pins we're doing right now on this project per month 750. In order to do that in one of those tools like follower, that would probably take two or three days or more. And actually, I don't even know if I have enough credits to be able to do that and I would be maxing out my credits, but I would be spending days because the time that it takes to generate AI images and schedule them and all that, it's still time consuming. There is no tool out there, at least that I know of, that just does everything automated in the background where you don't have to do anything at all or click buttons or anything or approve the pins. But this is kind of what it looks like. Here's what October looked like for us. All of the pins were scheduled and we go into November. I can show you what November looks like as well. 
Uh, you can see we have 25 pins going out every single day. There's two pins right here and then it says 23 more. So that's exactly 25 pins per day. Now I can ramp this up and we could do up to with Publer. They'll let you publish up to if you're on the premium plan, which I am. I believe it's 36 or 37, 37 pins is the max on an account. But I just like to stick with the 25 number and you can see that we're ahead now. So this video is being recorded on November 20th. And you can see right over here and then November 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th fourth. So we're already scheduled out all the way through the entire month. Right now, my uh, virtual assistant is working on November 30th. So the entire month will be scheduled out. I want to get one full month all through December scheduled ahead of time as well. And then we might actually even start on another website so that we can kind of just start the process over. And now we can actually start testing multiple niches and so forth and have multiple websites being built uh, at the same time. So with the method that I am doing right now, you could do this yourself, but it would be a full-time job because I have a full-time virtual assistant overseas that's working on this. And you can see it, it is hard work. They are going in. I mean, it's not hard work, but it is very time-consuming work that they're going in and creating all those and then having to come in here and create all of these and schedule them in Pebbler. And it is one at a time. There is no bulk upload feature or anything like that. So there's no magic button in the way that I'm doing this. But again, my method um, of just outsourcing it for um, pretty cheap um, overseas sees is a really good method to be able to do this. And then we can go look at the, the actual website. So this is what the website looks like. Even coming in here and looking at this, it, this is starting to register that there's traffic on the website, 1.3 thousand uh, views. We know that it's not actually that, but it's get, actually getting pretty close because if we go into the dashboard, this is another really cool thing that I love about using the tools that I promote to you guys and share with you guys. I'm using Analytics WP. I have a lifetime access to that, so I can put this on any website that I want. I don't have to rely on Google Analytics and Google Search Console, I've just become less and less of a fan of Google and less of a fan of SEO and trying to rank on Google, spending, putting all of our eggs into one basket on Google, and then we have no control whatsoever on what they do. And so using other tools, using third-party tools, this is measuring traffic that kind of literally hits my website and we're, we're not, it doesn't, it's not using third-party tools or anything like that. It's just using its own algorithm that's attached to the coding of our website and measures traffic that's coming in. And you can see right over here, we've had 800 page views. So if that's 800 uh, page views, I mean, it's in the vicinity of the 1.3 thousand of views that, that Simura Web is telling us about our site. So it's actually not that far off Simura Web on the site. And you can see over 219 unique people. So this is not the virtual assistant that's logging in and working on the site every day or whatever. This is actually real people that have found our site through Pinterest and come uh, here. Views per person, almost four per person. And you can come over here and even just look at the different metrics right over here. Over the last seven days, 131 people coming to the site. Total page views. I mean, this is more impressive than a lot of people and their case studies about getting, you know, 100 clicks here and 100 clicks there. This is literally only turning on Pinterest traffic and we're, the site's not even indexed or ranking in Google, which is super, super cool. And you can see that all the Pinterest traffic, 80 Pinterest traffic right over here in this tool. And then you have another one right over here with one right there. We have a, some a Google traffic. I don't know how people are finding us through Google, but I'm going to go back over to the all time right over here because you can see 95 right there on Pinterest. And then there's a couple of two right there and then one right there. Now Google 34 right there. I'm not sure where, how people are finding us on Google. You can see most people are on desktop and then mobile and tablet right there. And you can see the hockey stick growth right over here as well. And we can also come through and look at the window shoppers. So this is basically a bounce rate, but I mean, this is not a 90%, 80% uh, or anything like that. We're actually at a decent bounce rate, which is super, super cool. And I haven't even begun to optimize or do anything uh, even more engaging on the site. It's literally AI content and we're holding a, a decent uh, bounce rate right there. You can also see the, pal the popular pages right here that are, you know, bringing the most people into the, into the site. And this would be useful information, even just looking at this, because you would be able to go in there and say, oh, keto enchiladas, let's go make 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 pins on keto enchiladas to bring more, drive more and more traffic to this article right here. So that you already get nuggets of information just from using this little simple tool right here, WP Analytics or Analytics WP, sorry, but which is super, super cool. So we've got real people coming to the site. And then when we come over here and look at site.ketoquick.com in Google, we do have the homepages indexed and we do 
have a couple of category pages that are indexed. I have not hooked this up to Google Search Console. I have not sent any pages to get indexed. I have not sent, I haven't even created a sitemap or anything like that, right? We know that the site will get indexed, but I haven't done any of those things because I just don't care. And I'm glad that I made it all the way to this point, six weeks into the, to the progress or to the project. And I intentionally did not do anything with the website. And even if we come up here and I show you the homepage still has the home, the template on it has nothing. I haven't even done a, um, any work on the homepage, right? It's still just a template. And I did that on purpose to show you guys and to prove that we can go out and get real traffic from other sources and not rely on Google. Super cool. Next steps, I will be hooking up to a Google search console. I'm going to use a different account than my main account that I have other websites on. It's going to be a different email address and a different account just in case anything happens. It's on a whole nother site because there's those crazy stories of when Google sees one of these videos, they go and they penalize everybody's, you know, all of their websites and so forth on their account. I'll be putting it on a different network and so forth. And really, I don't care about Google traffic. Remember, this is to get traffic specifically from Pinterest. What do you guys think about uh, the progress so far? I think this is pretty cool. It's a fun project and I'm hoping to get this to thousands of clicks per month. Then the site becomes an actual asset, right? And then you could sell the website or you could put ads on the website or you could sell an ebook. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. So let me know what your thoughts are below. Are you gonna go out and start your Pinterest website? The links to the tools will be below and I'll see you in the next video.